Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install MS.7.1 in VirtualBox. Before we get started, I want you to know that this works in VMware and I'm sorry I didn't actually upload last week. I was extremely busy and since summer I'm going to actually get a little free up and I'm going to upload a little more often. Okay, so now with this being said, I want you to please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Okay, now you want to go ahead and share this video, and if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Okay, with this being said, the only software you will need is VirtualBox or VMware. The link for the software will be in the description, and if you want to know how to get that free, full, and legal from their website, VMware, the link for the video will be in the description. You'll need just this ISO from the description I uploaded myself to my account. So now open up VirtualBox, create new virtual machine, and call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this MS DOS 7.1 video. Okay, over to type, you just want to click other if it didn't actually auto select in version DOS. Over to WAN, put an amount. I'm gonna put just 64 megabytes. Don't put too much or it's gonna crash. Create a virtual hard disk and click create. Okay, select your format and click next. Go ahead and click success for best performance or dynamically to create it quicker. Anyway, it's a very small hard drive, it's not gonna take a lot to create. I'm, I'm gonna delete this anyway, so I'm gonna click dynamically. Put a size, do not put more than one gig, put in another location if you want. And go ahead and click settings once you click OK. System again, just the RAM. And over to display, just put a little more video RAM if you want to. I'm going to put just 12, again the same thing, do not put too much, and click OK. Also, I just forgot, go back to the settings and over to storage, here, go ahead and go ahead and browse for virtual optical disk files. So go ahead and select yours, and click OK. Then we're going to go ahead and click start. Okay, and now it's going to start the virtual machine. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, now it's going to get it to this prompt. I'm going to just maximize this window and zoom in for you to see better what's actually going on. Okay, now what you need to do is actually control with your arrow keys and enter. Click next. Click next. I agree with the space bar and now click next. Click continue. Create a FAT32 and click reboot now. Okay, now it's going to reboot the exact same thing. Press enter on your keyboard. Okay, now you're going to click enter, enter. Again, the exact same prompt. Click enter, continue. And now it's gonna get something different. I'm gonna go yes and a call folder. I'm gonna leave this default. I'm gonna just call it DOS. Click next. Click yes. Okay. Full installation, or you can actually select if you want it. Click install add ons and click next. Click yes. Click OK. You're gonna wait a little bit. Click continue, and now we're gonna get a lot of yeses. So just click is yes, yes. Now let's select your sound card, it doesn't actually matter, these are old, it's just for virtual machine, and click OK, OK, yes, OK, yes, OK, yes, OK, yes, yes, OK, OK, and just follow this, just the yeses, a bunch of yeses, there's so many yeses, I actually, you can actually count them there a lot, OK, click yes, yes, OK, just go with this, and it's locked. Now you're gonna go ahead and no, and click yes. You're gonna be really, really careful. Click yes, enable both, load both, and pick all of these with space, and click continue. Uh, just leave this default for US International keyboard or modify it. Click next, 
And now you're gonna just uh, offer this a bunch of VSs. Go over to devices and over to optical drive to remove the disc. Uh, now you're gonna click the machine and click capture and you are actually able to use the mouse. And you can do this from the beginning, I actually forgot to tell you. So now just go ahead and click yes. And really, really easy. Now what's gonna happen, you're done. Click any key. Click escape to get rid of this, and this is it. You got MS-DOS 7.1 in VirtualBox. Thanks for watching. See you next time on How to IT.